This young man has been called all sorts of names already. Baby Shumi, Boy Wonder and Rain King. At just 21 years of age, he's the rising star and Formula One has Vettel Fever. The youngest driver ever to take pole and win a Grand Prix. Experts are predicting a great career ahead for him and are already making comparisons in world champion terms with the great Michael Schumacher. However, Vettel himself, who used to have a Schumi poster over his bed, has both feet firmly on the ground. You know, I think direct comparisons with Michael are not very clever for me or for anyone else. I mean, he's one of the established greats in the sport. Statistically, he was the best and still is, and I think to measure or compare anybody against him would be very inappropriate. Sebi, as his family calls him, came to motorsport rather by chance. On holiday as a three-year-old, he went karting for the first time and never wanted to stop. He showed his great talent in the rain at an early age, driving as if unleashed. The start of a picture book career, for which a lucky charm is essential. It was after a very bad weekend in karting, and I was on the way home with my family. And as happens, we had to stop at some point for petrol or we wouldn't have made it all the way. At that time, this was still in D-Mark days. The petrol stations used to sell little lucky pigs with a fennig coin in them. My father bought one back to the car and gave it to me, and said that hopefully things would go better in the future. And they have, much better in fact. With painstaking professionalism and the required degree of ambition, Vettel pursued his motor racing career. Karting, Formula BMW and Formula 3 Euro Series. Then the call from Formula 1. The youngster had hit the jackpot. It was always a dream I had, always a target I had my eye on. But of course you don't really think that someday you're actually going to achieve it. It was just so far off. And when you saw it on TV, those cars and drivers, they were my heroes. But I never thought I'd have the chance to drive a car like that myself. <laughs> now Vettel is one of them, long since included in the circle of Formula One heroes. Young, fresh and untroubled, he initially felt his way around the often very unreal world of Formula One. Always with a cheeky grin that makes even the hottest grid girls want to mother him. Instead of parties, celebrities and the luxurious lifestyle, he prefers to be close to his family. I'm still in very close contact with my family. After all, I'm only 20. It's not as though I've already been living alone and traveling around the world for 20 years. Quite the opposite. It's now only two or three, and my family is still one of the most important things to me, and also the people with whom I most enjoy spending my free time. Free time is something Sebi seldom has any more. The racetracks of this world are now home where he really goes for it. In 2007, a young German showed his potential in some sensational wet weather races. In Monza, he even left the masses and Hamiltons of this world behind, causing a real sensation. His confidence and ambition make him the winning type, much to the delight of his employers. Sebastian's a special driver who, for his young years, is already really very mature. He's very fast, very committed and also very nice. He's therefore pretty much got the whole package. In 2009, the German Rough Diamond is due to switch to Red Bull Racing. That will be a painful loss for Toro Rosso and a major gain for the Big Sister team. Along with his new teammate Mark Webber, he'll be going for the points in 2009. Vettel should take the team to the next level, helped by his talent and speed. I'm not in Formula One to be an also run and just enjoy the ride. I want to go to the top to win races, to compete for victories 
and to contest the championship. That may be a long way off, but I'm prepared to give it my all and to sacrifice everything to get there. He's already the youngest Grand Prix winner in Formula One history. And winning is something he wants to get used to. After all, that race day in Monza was the best day of his life.